What's going on guys? Beastly Gamer here. Welcome to the channel. Today we'll be talking about the Xbox One Scorpio and exactly what Microsoft is going to be able to bring to the table with this 2017 console. The Scorpio is very heavily talked about in gaming media right now. Uh, there's lots of pundits and news agencies very excited about what Microsoft is going to be revealing at the end of the year. Home console that's supposedly going to be able to run games in 4K at 60 frames per second. That is unheard of for a console. Uh, we still have issues playing most games at 1080p 60 frames per second to be totally honest with you. But according to this article it appears that the Xbox One Scorpio is going to take some time for developers to really extract the true power of the console. I will drop a link in the description. Xbox One Scorpio specs news. New Xbox One graphics revealed after big price update. Xbox Scorpio might take a while to reach its full potential as developers wrestle with the new specs and graphical output. Just days after the latest Xbox One Scorpio price news, the team behind Little Nightmares has shed some light on the console's graphical capabilities ahead of the 2017 release day. And it could be bad news for early adopters because despite the console's improved specs, the initial graphics boosts might not be as big as fans would hope. David Mervick from Little Nightmares developer Tashir Studios said that performance boosts would come with time. He told Gaming Bolt, quote, Initially, we'll probably see less of a boost than we'd hoped for, but there are ways to improve the games for Scorpio without sacrificing the experience of the game on the Xbox One. With time, developers usually find a way to get the most out of the console in one way or another, end quote. In terms of specifics, Mervic believes that we'll see, quote, some really beautiful games running at high frame rates and in 4K, end quote. He added, quote, that would be a really nice bar for others to follow. Microsoft recently dropped a big hint about the Xbox Scorpio price, and it's good news for fans. Microsoft previously said that Scorpio was like a high-end PC worth thousands of dollars, leading some fans to speculate that it would cost more than your average console. Fortunately, however, Microsoft's Phil Spencer said that the company wants to compete with consoles and not PCs. Microsoft had previously said that it will definitely cost more than the Xbox One S, which is currently priced at $249. The Xbox One Scorpio is being touted as the most powerful console ever created. It boasts six teraflops of GPU, which would deliver 4K gaming and support virtual reality. It's so powerful that Microsoft recently had a dig at Sony's PS4 Pro console telling one site that the device won't be able to handle true 4K and that the Xbox One Scorpio is aiming higher. Quote, I think there are a lot of caveats they're giving customers right now around 4K. They're talking about checkerboard rendering and upscaling and things like that. They're going to be able to decide to take that 6 teraflops of power and do what they think is best for their game, but I know that 4.2 teraflops is not enough to do true 4K, end quote. Well, this is one developer who's talking about developing on the, uh, the Xbox One Scorpio. Let me just say this, a lot of people are getting it twisted. Until Sony and Microsoft come out and say, we're going to start creating games for these consoles as exclusives to the new consoles, the Scorpio and the PlayStation 4 Pro, there's really nothing to get hyped about. These are all going to be PS4 and Xbox One games up -rezzed, and look more sparkly and new. That's pretty much it. You're not going to get any new kind of gaming experiences out of them, barring maybe VR on the Xbox One Scorpio. That'll be something totally different because the Xbox One can't do uh, VR at all until they maybe patch it and create some stuff for it and create VR headset for it. But the Xbox One Scorpio will be able to run with the HTC Vive and the Oculus Rift. It's powerful enough and they've already said that the Oculus Rift is going to work with the Xbox One Scorpio. So that's exciting news. But when it comes to these consoles, you're just talking about a higher resolution on PlayStation 4 and Xbox One games. To me, that doesn't really get me super amped and excited. I mean, think about how you'd feel if the PlayStation 4 only ran PlayStation 3 games that just were up res to 1080p. That's pretty much what these new consoles are. They're a generation ahead, but they're playing last generation games. So to me, that's a little disappointing. Uh, if these developers are having issues extracting the power out of the... Uh, the Xbox One Scorpio at this point, that's not a big surprise. Uh, the big surprise for me is that they alluded to the Xbox One Scorpio actually being around the same price point as a PlayStation 4 Pro. That's really exciting. If they can keep it within that realm, $400, $450 is going to be a big hit for people who want the newest, shiniest, and best piece of hardware when it comes to the gaming consoles. I am truly not surprised that developers are unable to extract 
the top quality out of their games right now because to be totally honest all you're doing is up rendering games that pre-existed on last generation hardware which is the playstation 4 and the xbox one so you guys keep that in mind as we go forward in 2017 the xbox one scorpio is going to be big news undoubtedly it's going to be huge news but the thing that would make me more excited is if microsoft announced an initiative to create xbox one scorpio games as exclusives to the scorpio while allowing it to do backwards compatibility on the xbox one i'm not really into the up res backwards compatibility boxes that's what the playstation 4 pro is and that's what the scorpio is as of right now when sony and microsoft announced some new changes and uh and going in a new direction with these new consoles will get me even more excited. You guys let me know what you think in the comments below. If you found this news informative at all, give a thumbs up to show support for the channel. Join the Facebook group, follow me on Twitter, and you can support the channel at BeastlyGamer.com. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time. Let it go.